So we have basically reshaped the entire team. Uh, we have a new chief officer team. We have uh, chief superintendents, some of whom have come in from other forces to bring in fresh ideas. We have a great superintendent model that is working really well. Uh, and we will soon have a chief inspector model in place as well, as more recently uh, our inspector model has been put right. So we've actually reshaped the entire senior leadership team. And I'm very proud and privileged to have some very experienced people, new people as head of comms and deputy head of comms, and of course, uh, in terms of our head of people services. So a brand new team here at Gwent Police. And that isn't because we need a brand new approach. What we need is to make sure that we build on the great work that we've already done and what my predecessors have already done, but that we actually modernize, invigorate uh, what we want to achieve for the future. And a big part of that is around our transparency and dialogue with our communities, which I think has, has really improved over the last few years. But also, it is about making sure that our values and our standards are where they need to be. And that senior leadership team, without question, knows what I expect of them. Because it is about standards, it is about a healthy culture, and a culture which our communities will also be proud of. And I, I think Gwen Police is a special force. Uh, and I'm hugely, you know, hugely looking forward to what we're going to achieve together in the future. What matters is the confidence that the communities have in us and, of course, the confidence that our staff have in Gwent Police. In the last year, we've recruited 62 extra officers to what we ordinarily would. But it's also an increase in the amount of police staff that we have. Of course, it's never enough. But what I do want is to have a, an innovative workforce and a workforce that can meet the demands that are facing policing and the challenging demands that are facing policing today. And with that in mind, what's important is that we have an estate that is fit for purpose for the future. And I'm really proud that the PCC, the Police and Crime Commissioner, has ensured that we will have a headquarters in place a year September one.